why Southeast Asian doctors might mistake novel coronavirus for dengue. Health experts warn that Southeast Asian healthcare workers may miss novel coronavirus cases amid the current dengue outbreak. Doctors based in Singapore released a report on March 4 that detailed how similar dengue and the novel coronavirus are. The report, which was published in the medical journal The Lancet, states that these similarities could result in false positive results for dengue among coronavirus positive patients. The authors of the report came from the Environmental Health Institute, Nang Teng Fong General Hospital, and Singapore's National University Health System. The researchers detailed the cases of two Singaporeans who tested positive for dengue but actually had COVID-19. The two were diagnosed with dengue through rapid serological testing or antibody tests. Both patients had no travel history related to the coronavirus, but they did have a fever and were coughing. Though dengue and COVID-19 have similar symptoms, Dengue is a flavivirus while COVID-19 is a coronavirus. The World Health Organization said that it's easier to differentiate between the two diseases as they progress. Southeast Asia has been experiencing a wave of new COVID-19 cases lately, with 160 in Singapore, 117 in Malaysia, and 35 in the Philippines. The problem is that Southeast Asia is also struggling with dengue. The World Health Organization states that the world experiences 390 million dengue infections each year, but 70% of the actual burden is in Asia. Dengue fever is a mosquito-borne disease that is caused by any one of the four types of dengue viruses. Recovery from one type of dengue renders a patient immune to only that type of dengue. They would still be vulnerable to the other three. People who live or travel in tropical areas are more at risk of developing dengue fever. The disease presents itself in various ways. Children and teens are likely to not even experience any symptoms of mild dengue. Symptoms normally occur four to seven days after one is bitten by an infected mosquito. Dengue is characterized by a high fever and two or more of other symptoms including nausea, a rash, vomiting, a headache, swollen glands, and pain behind the eyes. If the patient doesn't recover within a week, the disease could develop into severe dengue which can be life-threatening. The patient's blood vessels could become damaged and leaky, while the number of platelets in their blood may drop. This could cause dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome, characterized by bleeding under the skin and from the gums or nose, among other symptoms. Patients who have had dengue before are more at risk of developing dengue hemorrhagic fever if they are infected with dengue again. While a dengue fever vaccine named Dengvaksha exists, it is only approved for patients aged 9 to 45 years old. Younger children seem to have a higher chance of developing severe dengue fever two years after receiving a dose of Dengvaksha. Although Dengvaksha is effective among older children and adults, the World Health Organization emphasizes that communities still have to control mosquito populations. <laughs>